Senna. Pals. Steph, I want to get out ahead of this uh, to maybe mitigate the possibility that we get canceled. Okay. So um, we tried watching Hellboy oh. and uh, we're like, hey, we're going to watch the first one. We've never seen it. And uh, it, it had, uh, what's his name from uh, uh, Black Widow and Stranger uh, Things? David, David Arbor. Uh, David Arbor. And... Um, I was like, this is interesting. I didn't realize he was the first Hellboy. We got through the entire movie before we realized this is not the first Hellboy at all. And we were like, wow, the visual effects holds up so well for like being 20 years old. And then, uh, yeah, so that's coming later. So look out for that. Good times. Anyway, let's get into the actual first Hellboy. (laughs) What is going on, everybody? I am Jabby Koi, joined by the lovely Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bruh? What up? We are watching Hellboy 2004 edition. Thanks so much for joining. Our first time watching this. If you're watching with us on YouTube, you're going to get a cut down version of our reaction as we can only show a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you'd like to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, head over to our Patreon page or become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction. You'll just need your own copy of the film so you can open it up side by side with our reaction. We'll give you a 3 to one countdown sync. And it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite buddies from the internet. If you're watching on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. It all began in 1944. The Nazis were desperate. They intended to upset the balance of the war. Damn Nazis. Always screwing everything up. Hell, a week ago, I never even heard the word paranormal. Paranormal. (laughs) Paranormal. (laughs) No matter what happens to this book will guide you back to me. All right, low rent John Travolta. <laughs> I grant to you everlasting life. Wow. Youth and the power to serve me. The words a woman wants to hear. I grant you the power to serve me. You're welcome. Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cool. Maybe this American soldier should step in before this happens. How is that still? Po- oh, it's just, is it still connected? Is that how? Yeah. Granada! Granada! Oh, he's going through that, right? Oh, shit. What? Oh. Uh... Why was the light allowed to go through, but not him? That's crazy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Uh oh. He's still standing. Oh, oh. no! Whoa! <laughs> it spoke too soon. Yeah. Ew. Well, he's a Nazi. For him, for the, that's an yeah. upgrade for him. The portal's been open for too long. Uh-oh. Something may have come through. Have your men search the area. Cute little red baby. No, wait. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Uh. (laughs) Oh, you just carried How many of those you got? He's got baby fever. It's a boy. Boys gave him a name that very okay. night. We called him Hellboy. Look at the birdie. Oh. It's, it's already got chin hair going on. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? I just noticed the bottom half of that yeah. frame. That's crazy. <gasps> oh, damn. He just showed up. Just got there. Oh, was that that girl? Uh, I guess so. Oh, they had to sacrifice someone. Yikes. Without the rain and the and the hat, it's hard to know for sure if it's yeah. the same thing. <laughs> oh. That's wild. Yikes. That must have sucked that day for that actor. <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> John Myers, FBI. Look at the party, son. God. Oof. Can you imagine? <laughs> right in your right. face. Right. <laughs> you just got LASIK. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, what? 
discovered alive in a secret chamber of St. Trinian's Foundling Hospital, Washington. Oh. Mm. Rotten eggs. Literally shape of water. He's eating eggs like in shape of water. It's no coincidence. 1958, the occult wars finally come to an end with the death of Adolf Hitler. 1945, you mean? Hitler died in 45. Mm. Did it now? <laughs> Myers, this is Agent Clay. He'll make the introductions. <laughs> Okay, you saw the fish guy, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're primed for this. He gets fed six times a day. He's got a thing for cats. You'll be his nanny, oh, that sucks. His keeper. I'm not even a cat person, and that's... It's real. Yeah, 60 years old by our count, but uh, he doesn't age like we do. Think reverse dog years. He's barely out of his 20s. What's with the hair? He's still angry. Well, you did break out. I wanted to see her. Nobody's business. It is. You got yourself on TV. Oh, that's not like Mila Jovovich. Code red. Hey, hey, hey. Warning. Code red. They're playing our song. Come on, champ. Let's go fight some monsters. Mm. Behind this door, a dark entity. Evil, ancient, and hungry. Let me go in and say hi. I wonder if the guy playing the fish person is the same person who did the the weird long guy from Pan's Labyrinth. He's like the ultimate creature feature actor. Yeah, exactly. Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the guy. I, I'm wondering if it's the same person. Yeah, he's so legendary. What do you say we work this out? Nice. Oh no. Peaceful. Uh, <laughs> oh crap. Oh, I thought he was gonna get attacked. Just like that. He's taken care of. No, listen to this. Samael, the desolate one. Hound of resurrection. See, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. I got up. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> Oh, this guy gets props off go. What the hell is that thing? Let me go ask. It's <laughs> <laughs> still moving. <laughs> Ew. That's some really good CG. If that is CG. Everything so far has been shot really well. Red bean, stop! Red means stop. <laughs> why, why wouldn't that guy stop? What a jerk. Yeah. See, that's why I don't ride the Metro. It's just, you never know what's going to show up. Jeez, ew. <laughs> what an... I'm on your side. <laughs> sure. That'll work in his favor. Ew, disgusting. Yeah, you got it. The slobber was the... the line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be reborn again and again. Oh god. These are unfair rules. Why were there two flames? Yeah. I should know who this actress is, but I don't. I know she's so famous. She's from Legally Blonde and Oh, okay. So many beer. other things. Oh, right at your arm. You better get that looked at. I wanted to see you. Oh. Why is she in there? Show me what happened here. Oh, nice light effect. Whoa. We take it for granted now, but like we didn't see that too much back then. This, that kind of an effect. Yeah, I know. I can promise somehow. 
for each one of you that falls. Two shall arise. Uh oh, you're... Is that his superpower, or he was just keeping this, like, little secret sauce in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> so now two more of these guys. Yeah, that's why we saw the two lights. How many can he make? Yeah. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Come back. No, no, HP. I don't like it here, but I haven't had an episode in months. You know what? I'm learning to control it. Oh. oh. How much carnage can she do with that? Yeah. If you really care about me, you won't come back. Mm. You can't do that. No. Yeah. I gotta go too. No. Lots to do. <laughs> Poor guy. It sucks being vulnerable. Professor, look, touched you five seconds, laid three eggs. Uh oh. Ew, that's disgusting. I hate eggs and the stinger detaches itself from the tongue and injects the eggs. They are very sensitive. That is messed up. Ew. They need a humid, dark environment to breed. Ew. Did you ever lose track of him? There was that moment when I had the train on top of my head. We can't risk it. Tomorrow you'll go back to the tracks with a group of agents. Oh yeah, the whole place is dark there. My master is calling your name now. You must return to the child. Jane. Fire. Gonna blow it Ew. That guy could do great things at a hospital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Resuscitate people. Oh, nasty bullies. That's right. Not again. Human torch them. Oh no! Not Teach them a lesson. Uh oh. Oh, everyone in that ward is gonna. Oh no. Damn. Whoa. Holy. Oh no. How many buildings does she have to burn down? She blames herself for that explosion in Pittsburgh. But I think I can help. Just what was it that landed you this job pushing pancakes, huh? What is your area of expertise? He doesn't want me with him. I know that much. I want pancakes now. I could go for some pancakes. I'm, uh, I'm not your guy. I'm dying, Agent Myers. Like any father, I worry about him. What I ask of you is to have the courage to stand by him when I'm gone. He definitely looks like a guy who's pure of heart. Yeah. It's probably a jerk in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I find that whenever someone's like a jerk in a movie, they're usually nice in real life. Right. Can I, uh, can I call you Liz? It's a beautiful name. 60% of all the women in the world are named Liz. What? Well, uh, that's no, impressive no by my standards. My name's John. John T. Myers. Is that a fact? Oh my god, the broom that's crazy. Me to Elizabeth, to maybe? Uh... No special precautions, no security escorts. God, you gotta go everywhere this creature, this Cthulhu creature went. Oh, ew. No wonder he keeps his mask on. I know, on. I was thinking that too. He has no eyelids. This should cover your tail, friend. Reliquary, straight from the Vatican. I hope he doesn't get killed. Me too. I really like him. And he's very useful. Oh, shit. Friends on the move. I'll cover. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. How about he... Ew. Whoa. Ugh. Are they all going to fit in that diaper, Genie? Uh-oh. Oh, no. His weapon. Oh, fuck. That's not good. That's a bad sign. Oh no! With the tongue and the egg planting. No! Sam. 
I'm a hell. I'm the resurrection. Uh. Are they all immortal? Or are they, can they all resurrect, you think? Yeah. You <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh no. Just another night in the city. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. He really is destructive. Why are y'all only running now? Yeah. <laughs> like, I would have am scraped out Thank of there a long time ago. <laughs> I got a whole kung fu fight scene going on. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, good job. Like, why are you guys still here? I say. Y'all can go now. Go ahead. <laughs> Somebody please get my kids! Is he gonna eat them? Oh, he doesn't eat the cats. He just likes hanging out yeah. with cats. Yeah, the soft gotcha. spot for I now. misread that earlier. Oh. Oh, careful. God, it's like fish up. It's crazy. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going from bad to worse. So it's like an old screenwriting thing that when a character loses his good luck charm, that's usually when he gets killed. Um... What the hell? What the heck? Oh no. Yeah, I, I knew this guy wasn't gonna make it. Ah. Uh. Man. Oh, that is weird. Quarry Moss, do you read me? Quarry Moss, do you read me? Man down! I guess it stops his pulse or something, so he simulates that he's dead. The guy with the freaky eyes. Yeah. He'll make it. Not everyone was so lucky. You're reckless. These men trusted you to lead them as a team. Where were you? He was fighting the creature. But I stopped that thing, didn't I? Yes, it did. That's what you do. That's why we need you. You have an insight. You know monsters. What are you trying to say? This whole thing is a farce. Because in the end, after you've killed, after you've captured every freak out there, there's still one left. You. Oh. I wish I could be more gracious, but... I was thinking the same thing. This dude is so brazen. It's like he could easily just crush yeah. your skull. Oh. I want that thing locked up. Now, do you... No, no, you hear me? <laughs> he ran away. <laughs> Look at them all. Who had babies? Huh? Yeah, he's trying to make it look cleaner. <laughs> well, will it take long? So I'm, I'm actually going out. Are you going alone? No, Myers is taking me. Hmm? Oh, no. The blood in his veins dried up decades ago. Only dust remains. I'm so scared yeah, for this me old too. guy. Oh, man. My, uh, my uncle, he used to say we like people for their qualities, but love them for their defects. Now every time I see him, I get confused. There's hardly a day that goes by that he's not in my mind, even now. She friends Hey, wait up. Oh, please don't let them kiss in front of Hellboy. She took his picture. <laughs> She took his picture. She takes lots of pictures. It doesn't mean anything. Well, wouldn't it someone you like? You're so irrational. Oh, crap. Sound like a game show. 
Uh-oh. Hey! You're Hellboy! Shh. I'm on a mission. Don't tell anyone, huh? Those two are really loud. <laughs> I hope this old dude makes it, man. At least to the end of the movie. There's a freaky looking Ew. dude. You need to be six feet under and probably cremated. He's yawning. He's bored. Oh no. Yeah, the old yawning. You've got to be kidding me. He's putting the moves on her? If he wants my job, Wait, he wants my what? Job. Maybe he's just resting his arm. Yeah. Maybe it's innocent. I don't think he's that dumb. Oh! oh! Oh. <laughs> he was sitting rather close, though. It's like there's a whole bench there. You guys don't have to be butt to butt. Oh. Hey. Hey, who threw that? Nice shot. <laughs> I will permit you a brief glimpse of the future. <gasps> oh, Armageddon, huh? <laughs> What the hell is that? If only you had had him destroyed 60 years ago, none of this would have come to pass. Your God chooses to remain silent. Mine lives within me. No! He's, he's going to feel so much guilt. He was on his way out anyway, yeah. I suppose. Still sucks. Yeah, I really liked him. All us freaks have is each other. Take care of the big monkey for me, will you? I think Fishtu could solve that with his eyes closed in right. two minutes. He reads four books a day at the same time. I can promise you two things. One, I'll always look this good. <laughs> and two... Give up on you. Oh, Hellboy's a lover. We'll have to nail them all at once. And the eggs. And when we do, no mumbo jumbo. Double core, Vulcan 65. Kaboom. Easy to clean, easy to use. We go in by uh, quadrants, maybe satellite photography. Let me ask for directions. Oh, can he talk to the dead? Well, he is Hellboy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a thing. They haven't established that yet. Hi there. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> 60 feet further, comrades. What the hell's on his back? Say hi, Ivan. Yvonne's got a big head. Goodness. Say hi, Yvonne. <laughs> we'll be all right as long as we don't separate. Oh, man. No sooner than he said that. Sparky. Tell everyone to turn their locator belts on. Anybody sees anything. I'll say Marco. Hold up. Would you mind holding this guy for a while? He is so negative. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in charge! We go back! Oh, <laughs> Dummy. That poor cop. That sucks. <laughs> Ouch. Shut up. Oh, uh. no. oh. Hey. Shit. Hey, what's wrong with you? Do you know where you are? <laughs> oh, damn. You killed my father. Your ass is mine. Uh, no. You Nazi son of a. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh my goodness, it's like a Mortal Kombat stage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Don't even think about it. Is it enough yet? When is your time? Oh god. <laughs> Not my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one little extra thing. You use a wooden match. Preserves the flavor, you see? That's a cute moment, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, enough beef squashed. Yeah, exactly. Let's get to solutions. Oh my god. Y'all just walked into that? You couldn't see that from the hall? Right. Oh, God. Oh, man, now your lunch. Oh, jeez. Couldn't come just a little bit sooner so that no. unnamed cop didn't have to die. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Hit me. Also, she's activated by rage. Okay. Get off my man. Sparky Spark. Oh, what? <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't hurt him. He's fireproof. Good job. I don't know why I want baked salmon now. <laughs> so what? <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong for that. This one's a week. Thank you for this. They just, they just left him there? Maybe they left him as- oh no. The door, sent by the Ogdu Jaha, so that they might at long last enter our world. You are the key, the right hand of doom. Your stony hand. What did you think it was made for? Open the locks. Don't do it, Red! Don't do it! <gasps> that would kill him. Imagine an Eden for you and her. No. In exchange for her soul, then. So I wait on the other side. If you want her back, open the door and claim her. Your true name is inscribed around the locks that hold you. You cannot break them, no matter how strong you are. Oh, shit. For her. Anun. Unrama. Anun. Unrama. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh. Um. Even his beard is like <laughs> bigger now. Majestically dark. Gosh, that's bad. You know, there's a lot of overlap between Hellboy and Goku. He just needs an evil brother. Exactly. <laughs> it really was giant versions of Cthulhu. That's what all the tentacles were about in that vision. Yeah. That must suck being an immortal creature just waiting. Open the final lock. This crystallized thing. Wait, wait, just another day. <laughs> waiting to destroy stuff. Can't destroy anything. Yeah. Just stuck here. Oh, that's a good throw. 
Good job, guy. Remember who you are, Simba! <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh. oh! Okay! You have a choice. Your father gave you that. No, you don't! Open it! Oh. Oh. Back in the glass. He's like, shit. Just got out. My time. Taste of freedom. <laughs> I chose. I like the horn look, though, but I, I get the significance. <laughs> That's kind of sexy. Yeah, I'm like, he has to <laughs> mutilate himself to be good. You will never understand the power inside you. I'll just have to find a way to live with that. But you brought forth a god. Oh, because he lived inside of it. Oh, no. So every time he thinks it's over, it still it yeah. just levels up. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? Uh, you guys, I don't think the job's done. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Alone? How big can it be? Oh my god. No sooner than he said that. Jeez. Come here, Big Red. Uh-oh. Damn. What are you gonna do? Oh. I'm surprised that thing is still sharp. Yeah. He really is an anime. He's got a huge ass yeah. sword. <laughs> Yikes! Ugh. Disgusting. Gonna be sore in the morning. Yeah, it's been a long day. I would need like three showers. Can you dangle that little thing over her head like you did with the undead guy? My magic of love, I guess. Yeah. In the dark, I heard your voice. Aww. What did you say? I said, hey, let her go. Because for... For her, I will cross over. Aww. You'll be sorry. <laughs> Oh, we love the corny love. <laughs> what makes a man a man? A friend of mine once wondered if it is origins, the way he comes to life. I don't think so. It's the choices he makes. Very Not true. how he starts things, but how he decides to end them. Her clothes are resilient, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was great. 20, almost 20 years later. It's She's, still great. Yeah, yeah. I think it would have done better now than then. You think so? I think so. I feel like people are yearning for more of this type of narrative now. Well, the 2019 one, like the story was just like a more violent version of this. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I didn't hear any rumblings about a sequel to that, but I wasn't looking for that information either. So there might right. be something up with that with David Arbor. Anyway. Yeah, I, I was. I'm actually quite impressed. But I mean, Guillermo del Toro has always has been known for his, you know, the creature stuff, and right? His set design and his you Selma know, Blair Im imagination. Okay, I didn't. Don't follow. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Oh, that that was. I know the main yeah, girl, yeah, but yeah. I don't. I don't know what works. Okay. Done. Okay. Yeah, like he's he's known for all of that, and I thought that, you know, with all that in mind, it's excellent. You know, mm -hmm. uh, very creative, very fun. To say the least. Doug Jones. Hey, we were right. Yeah, Doug so. Jones. So. He's great. Yeah, he's, he's in. John Hurt, that's who that was. I was like, okay, now I'm remembering. He was probably in V for Vendetta. 
Oh. He's the Hitler-esque guy. Yes. Yeah. He's the president. Yeah. Cause I or was, the whatever, the prime minister or yeah, whatever. Like what? Because I was watching it and I'm like, I know this dude from somewhere. And I just yes. can't put my finger on totally. it. Totally. Um, okay. Now I Talk about there. range. Yeah. He's completely different there. It must be nice to not have to play like a Hitler kind of dude. Yeah. You know, and play a father figure. Yeah. Jeffrey Tambor is great. He's uh he's an actor I've come to appreciate more as I get older because I, I remember seeing him in uh, I think it was Meet Joe Black, and um, you ever see that? Mm -mm. Oh, it's one of those weird films that I oddly really really liked. Okay. Even though I had no right to. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was in that, and then of course Arrested Development. Yeah, of course. It, uh, I appreciated the the bond that he started to have with Hellboy towards the end, and it actually made me hopeful for them in that relationship. You know, knowing that there's a sequel after this, I don't know if he's there, but it did seem kind of cool that he could kind of be the new sort of father figure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Interesting. The fight choreography was also by Guillermo del Toro. Oh, so, okay. I mean, it was four people, but he was the last yeah. one listed. I guess he's kind of like Tarantino in that he's very hands-on, obviously. He's like, I want this, I want this, I want this. Right. And they're like, okay, why don't you just choreograph You're that? Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> yeah. You know, fun fact, with uh, Kill Bill, Quentin Tarantino brought on uh, uh, Yuen Wuping from The Matrix to help him with the choreography. Oh. Uh, or to rather to do the choreography, but by the time Yuen Wuping showed up, Tarantino had already basically orchestrated most of it and Yuan Wuping was like I don't even know why you need me here you and so that's why he instead of choreographer he was advisor oh that's uh, great yeah that's a cool fact uh, but anyway how'd you feel about this I thought this was real I love the tone of this movie mm -hmm. I I like the establishment of the character Guillermo del Toro just coming off of Pinocchio. I feel like that like unbeknownst father figure coming mm -hmm. into play and having this adopted son of a new origin. He's kind of mastered that. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was really interesting. I love the love the what differentiates this one in one of the ways that differentiates this one from the 2019 version mm -hmm. is the love story. Mm -hmm. And I actually really liked that. Okay. I thought that it would this movie's a little campy in all the right ways for yeah. me. And I love the kind of the team that we have going on to hopefully the sequel. We have Selma Blair and then the guy with the pure heart yeah. and Hellboy. I was kind of low-key hoping that the Doug Jones character was going to come back in to help out. I know. But I guess there was just no room for that. That's, that, that latter scene, the you know, the last act already had a lot going on. And so I guess it wouldn't have made sense. I was hoping for a little bit more out of that final moment with the huge Cthulhu creature mm -hmm. that came out of Rasputin's stomach. It kind of ended a little quicker than I was expecting, you know, because I, th I think that um, for, for Guillermo del Toro and probably any filmmaker in his position, it would have it felt like it needed one more bang mm -hmm. to close the movie out, which it did. I, th I thought that was, you know, the right impulse, the right instinct, but I just, it kind of ended so quick. It's like the moment that things showed up, it was destroyed. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else you could have done. Maybe more of the sword work, I, who knows? But it probably got to the point where it's like, okay, this is getting expensive. Yeah, we can't do this fight much longer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it was already like, I feel like pushing the limits of what was possible back then. This is what, a couple years after Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions. And I was glad to see that he resisted the impulse to do any bullet time effects because so many movies in that pocket of time between like 1999 and 2006 were doing so much bullet time. And I think that the apex of that was, even though it's different, was like 300. And one after 300 came out in 2006, 2007, they stopped doing that kind of stuff for the most part in favor of more the direction of what he was doing. Uh, why is his name not coming to my brain? Uh, uh, Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder, thank you. I don't know why I fell out of my head for a second. But yeah, like there was obviously a couple of moments in there that felt like pseudo Matrix inspired. Like when Hellboy jumped across the rooftop, I immediately thought of Matrix with oh, Neo jumping mm -hmm. and not making it. I can't it. not think of that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was just here and there, but or it's just a coincidence. Yeah, overall, I, I really liked him as a character. You know, uh, I, I think he's such a likable dude because he's so unlike his name. He's intimidating to look at, but he, he just seems like a cool guy to hang out with. Yeah, he's a softie. And yeah. I love that he has kittens. Yeah. He's like, there was really cool character choices that made me feel like he was a very lived in character yeah and that i think they added enough exposition and i thought that they as that the shot we started on which was in the past with the nazis mm -hmm. that was really short and sweet and set it up right and then i think with the fish character doug 
Doug Jones's character. Yeah. It ma- he's not a fighter. Like That's his true. character That's clearly true. couldn't fight. He's a thinker. But That's not a true. problem solver. I didn't love that. Like you you're a genius, dude. You can problem solve. <laughs> yeah, it did seem rather odd that he couldn't figure out the <laughs> yeah. Rubik's Cube. You could read a book on it. There's a formula. Yeah. There's like twelve year olds who do that with their eyes yeah. closed. And it's not even like that little one. It's like the huge ones that they uh, would right. solve. I'm like, yeah, I don't buy that for a second. No. But it's a character thing, yeah. I guess. No, but he was probably my favorite in the film. Like, it's just weird and interesting and the yep. way he, like, took things apart and whatever. And I think that they actually made good companions for each other. And so, like, there was a deeper chemistry there for me between those two than the love interest. Um, I, I wish there was a way we could have somehow gotten to know her a little bit better because we only got like one little tiny flashback yeah we didn't get to know much about her personality yeah i mean maybe that was efficient you know we saw that she was bullied as a kid and that's why she is the way that she is she has guilt for killing people by accident like what's the big deal it happens all the time (laughs) exactly i just light up in fire (laughs) Uh, so but um yeah i mean we got an understanding as to i suppose like why she's a recluse i would have imagined that she would want to be in a place that has no other people around at all, you know, know, rather than being in a psych ward or whatever. But hey, that's just minor details. Yeah, I liked her ca- character, especially that last line by Hellboy when he's like, I don't know if it was earned in terms of the time we spent with her, but I think I really got the messaging that you like a guy like him or it interests you because it does make you feel more normal. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm a reminder of how you're not. Yeah, and yeah. I think she... That to me showed her characters kind of fighting to be normal, but I like this like X Men mutant thing that they have going on between each other. I wonder if there's a way that they could have really allowed the the like I don't know the, I guess the Quasimodo complex that he has. Mm-hmm. Um, I, w- I wonder if there's a way they could have allowed that to mature even more because it was like a day that she spent with this dude, and already like he's just worried that she that she's in love with him and blah blah blah, which I guess makes sense. He doesn't get out much, <laughs> you know. He's, he's almost childlike in that way. Yeah. So I suppose it's justified, but I, I wish that they, they could have allowed that to be a little bit longer to allow us to experience what he's experiencing, which is that kind of Quasimodo sort of feeling of like, right. he'll never be good enough. Yeah. He'll, he'll never be able to be with her in his mind because I think that was an opportunity for us to get emotional as the audience. Mm-hmm. And I didn't quite get there. Yeah. Um, so... I didn't either, and I felt more that he was confident and was like, I guess this is who I am. Yeah, yeah. But I do think it would have been probably a little more powerful character arc to be very insecure about exactly. how you look. Yeah, exactly. And then he can come to accept himself, and she, mm-hmm. but she loves him anyway, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I was glad he was able to get the girl in the end. Me you know, too. He earned it. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> yeah. The action was fun. The effects were fun. The, like some of it obviously is dated. It's 2004, you know. But for the most part, like I was actually quite impressed at how good it was, given that this was like almost 20 years old. Yeah. You know, because we've come a long way. There's so much CGI today. What's even more remarkable is that some of the CGI you see today, sometimes it doesn't look much better than what we've seen here at its right. worst. You know? Right, like that one escape scene where the, I don't know what it's called, but where the guy almost got them all killed because he's like, we're going back. And that looks like, great. That looked great. Yeah, And yeah. that had to have been CGI, obviously, but it looked really good. Well, there had, yeah, you're right. There had to be CGI elements in there. I don't know what, though. There yeah. Were, like, the only thing I noticed was when um, Hellboy was holding the railing and it fell off. Like, the gravity looked weird mm-hmm. and the way it banged on stuff, it just looked odd. And I, I guess, we, you know, uh, effects artists were still figuring out, or scientists, whoever, were still figuring out how to program gravity into effects because it looked a little wonky. There's that. And then there was, like, a couple moments where Hellboy was being yanked around. Oh, yeah. a little goofy. Yeah. But it was far and few between. Really? You know? Few. It wasn't enough to pull me out of the movie. It's mm-hmm. like so much of it just kept me engaged. And that speaks to the craftsmanship of Guillermo del Toro and I suppose what he allows his team to do because yep. a lot of this stuff comes down to are you allowing enough time for the VFX artists to mature this stuff to be audience ready? Yes. Or are you just sending it out like after making changes every you know two seconds? Yes. You know? It needs to go to box office. Yeah. yeah, no, this felt really like they put a lot of time into it, especially for the the year it was made. Yeah. I enjoyed some of the villains in, in here. Like, I thought the Cthulhu-like creatures were super cool. Like, the way they, they were super gross. 
And not that I'm like obsessed with that kind of stuff. It's just like, I just enjoyed how creative that was yeah. and how scary they were. Like the eyes and just the movement and everything like that. It looks real. It looked, I was like, if I was a little kid watching this, I would have been scared shitless. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the 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 one who had like sand, the who was like obsessed with surgi surgically yeah. enhancing himself. That dude was a crazy good villain, even though you never heard him say anything. He was just like, he had a particular look, a particular way of moving, and he and you knew when he showed up what time it was. No pun intended there. Killing time. Yeah, it was killing. It was like, he was deadly with the with the blades. And yeah. I thought that was super cool. The Rasputin villain, I was, I'm was i on the fence about, because I'm like, I don't I don't think I'm going to remember that villain in another 10 years. You know Yeah, I mean? nothing new. Yeah. Nothing new from him. But yeah. it was, yeah, it was, I like that he didn't really overact, which I feel like that yeah. was an easy role to do so. Yeah. So it was fine. But yeah, yeah it, he didn't have a ton of depth to him like yeah. this was at the time where I feel like and we still see it today where villains just are villains and they're mm -hmm. like but you see what the world would have looked like and it's like who wants to live like this <laughs> yeah, I know it's so weird <laughs> like that's how you want to live like, I want somewhere in the Palisades buddy <laughs> yeah I don't want this shit <laughs> be a rich villain yeah. don't ruin the planet exactly <laughs> Uh, but anyways, overall, enjoyed it very yes. much. Holds up. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koei. This is Steph Sabra. Peace out.